Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome to a quick look at a game called Knights and Merchants. Now, the music at the moment for me is horribly loud, and there doesn't appear to be very much in the way of options for it. I'm having a quick look at this game because this is something that I have previously played, and... Um... Well, I've, I've never played it on the channel, but it's a game that I've played quite a lot myself, and I really enjoyed it, and I happened to mention this a couple of times in uh, some fanatical sales that I've really, really enjoyed playing it, so I thought, well, why not? I will um, just take a quick look. It's a very short, short extra video this week. Sometimes I do a good look at a, a, a new game, something like that, but I just wanted to have a quick look at this one just to show those of you who might be interested. Um... You got a full campaign, a shattered kingdom, and a peasant's rebellion. This game was originally released in 1998. It was re-released in 2013. Um, I don't know what particular version I'm using right here. You can get it on Fanatical for five pounds, or you can get it directly on Steam for five pounds. There'll be links to both in the description down below. Uh, so I'm going to go with a single map. I'm just going number of opponents. Good gravy. How do I how do I, how do I load? Drop that back down. Back to menu, previous, across the desert. Size, one se uh, uh, I see, right, in a strange land, three opponents. Five opponents, snow and sand, land of the quick rivers. Black gold. 160, uh, we'll go with that one right there. And we'll start the map. See, it does this a lot. Uh... Go to settings. What have I got? Please let me turn this down. Oh, that's better. Right. That's better. We'll turn the music off. We'll try and... I've got the mouse speed there. Oh, that's better. Yeah, you, you, we definitely need it slowed down a little bit. Um, right, now what are you doing? There. Right. Uh, nope. It's edge scrolling as well. Okay. Uh, so I go back to settings. There is no other options. I don't really remember how to play. So you've got these guys here. These are helpers and those are builders. So we need to go to build. And you can build roads. We've got a schoolhouse. We've got farms. Uh, vineyards over there and the distribution of wares, statistics and your, your options. So the first thing you want to do is you need to build a schoolhouse, right? You've got to have a schoolhouse. Now, I can't build it there because there's trees in the way. So we'll put that one down over there. He will come out and... Okay, he's going really fast. Is there a way to slow him down? Remember what the controls are a minute. Uh, load game, save, quit mission. No. Right, unfortunately, it, it's not all particularly straightforward, right? It's, it's not all as, as simple and straightforward. Once you once you sort of figure it out, um, some of the stuff you, you will get, but mostly you're on with your, your, your mouse button over here. So you do want to put roads, okay? So we've got construct road. I want to have a road. You've got to do it each individual button push like that. They will carry the items over to you like that as well. And now we've got a road. So they're going to bring the stone out and they're going to put that in. And now they're going to start running along a road to the schoolhouse. You've got to connect all the buildings with roads. Look at them go. Look at them build that thing. Gets very noisy. Let's 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 turn that down a little bit, shall we? Settings. Um. It's not that. Change volume. Right. Well, maybe that'll maybe maybe that'll save it. So now they've gone and they've put in some they've put in they've put some gold in there. So you got to surf. Uh, you've got an, a laborer, a stonemason, which is something that we will want. So I will train a stonemason. We want a woodcutter. We want a carpenter. We will want a farmer. We will want a fisherman at some point, and a baker, and an animal breeder, and a butcher, and a miner, metallurgist, blacksmith, and then we want recruits for doing 
uh, various different jobs. You've got down here, this is coal, so you build coal mines. It's very important to get those going. Um, next, this is the next important item that you've got to have, right? This is really crucial. You need an inn, okay? So i got to put the road along to the inn like that. They will go through. They will go and grab everything there for the inn. I've got some extra people out here. I could make a few more people in here. Right? I, I, but I've, I've got some basics there. Another couple of serfs we're going to need. See these guys here? They've got skulls on them at the moment. They're hungry. Now, everything is going really fast. I'm not quite sure why it's in fast... Mo right. Pause. I'm, I'm, I'm pressing different buttons now to try and find how to slow time down a bit. One. Four, five, six. Okay, you can see right here these people... This is going a lot faster than it does normally, right? I haven't had time to sort of set this up. You can see there's food in here. Every single person on Majesty. the map needs to eat, right? Including all of your troops. So supply, supply troop with food. They will go into the inn and they will get food from the inn and they will feed it to everybody that needs it, right? That's, that's just one of the mechanics of the game. And it's one of my favorite mechanics about Let's this go. game. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's, it's the sounds that they make is, is brilliant. Um, so next up, I want a quarry. I want to build a quarry. And I want to put that within a reasonable distance. But at the same time, I don't want to be too close so that it interferes with everything else. So I get that one going. I got mines that I can build down here, but I don't have those ready yet. So you've got to build the mine first, uh, the quarry first. There. Building in a stone. They're putting in a stone as well. Now, if I come out of there, distribution of wares and two statistics. I've got seven serfs and I've got three laborers. It's not telling me anything else that I've got at the moment. So they quickly build that one. I've now got a guy who will go out and he will start mining the stone. Right? Really quick. Then it will allow me to build up the next bit. If I have a look in here, this tells me what I got. I got 30 stone, 35 timber, 48 gold. You use one gold for every surf and build every person you make in there. You've got sausage meat, we've got bread, we've got beer in our inn over here. Each single item you can see there feeds these people. And this is so noisy for me. I want to turn it down. Let me try that. SFX. No. It's not allowing me to change it, is it? I'm not selling this game very well, am I? I, I, I've spent a lot of time playing this game, and I, I, I do, I do absolutely love this game. Okay, there's, there's so many different elements to it. So, we'd like, we got a woodcutter's hut right here. So that's going to allow me to now start taking down some of these trees and getting rid of some of them. They come rushing out. The high-pitched noise is going on up here, and how to speed up and slow down the game, I'm not entirely sure of. It'll be a button somewhere. I don't want to press too many buttons in case I mess up the recording, that's all. That's, that's my only real concern at the moment. Um, it's probably not on a very good um, resolution for you either. Remember, this is a really old game. And it is it's going to... Why is it going so fast? I don't understand why it's going so fast. That's the bit that I don't understand, is why it's cycling through so quickly. No, I'm not, I've, I've tried several button pushes. Seem to do anything at all here. Uh, more button pushes? No. It appears to just go this fast. Doesn't appear to be any other options. So, he's now cutting stuff down. Um, 
but yeah, you, you, you're kind of looking like an age of... Let's, let's move down away from that noise. You're kind of looking at an Age of Empires type approach of game, okay? Uh, we've got to go out and gather resources uh, or settlers or something like that. It's very heavily inspired by settlers with the roads and the travel and then carrying stuff around. However, it's this food element that makes the difference right here. Each one of those is one unit of food, and every person needs one unit of food every time they go and eat. So you've got to maintain that food supply. That's the really important, crucial part of this whole thing. And it's the bit that separates this game from so many others of its era, of its kind, that I particularly love. Um, and also, the, the combat itself, you, you, you seen right there, I had that guy... Right, I can move him around, and you can see by the flower, I can choose which way he... Get rid of that. Wow, that's noisy. I can choose which, you know, the direction he faces and things like that. I had a vineyard there. I got a farm. I got a sawmill over there that's working crazily at the moment. So I'm going to build a farm right there and I'm also going to build a vineyard over here now the big thing with these with like the vineyard and the farm and stuff is that you've also got to build land to go with them so go over there like that and I'll put the road in and these so we've got a road like that and they will go and they will build that road. He's busy sawing like mad and uh, they're producing all of that. They're producing the road down there. They've already produced the road up here where they will make the vineyards. Uh, but then what we've got to do, we also, we're going to want to build a coal mine. This is very important. And um, we don't have any iron yet. We've not yet encountered any iron. We will do. We'll need the barracks. That's another important, crucial part of this game. So I'll build one of them right there. Put those items in there. And we've got a watchtower. These do help a great deal. It'll also help me uncover more land. In order to get those, I'm going to need a couple of recruits. So we're going to make a couple more serfs in here. No more builders. Woodcutter, I've got a carpenter, I'm going to want a farmer, fisherman, baker, animal breeder, butcher, uh, I'm going to need a miner, and I'm going to need a couple of recruits as well we're going to put in, get all of those going, so up there look, we've got this vineyard, he can't do anything at the moment, he needs some um, fields, right? He has no fields at the moment. So what we need to do is we need to construct wine fields for him around his farm. Like this. These take one piece of wood each. I honestly don't remember how many of these he needs. What I generally do is I build like a, a loop of them all the way around him like that. And if that's enough, he'll start working those. I, I can't remember if he need, how many exactly he needs. That farm is still under construction. That's under construction, and so is that down there. They will automatically eat, except for this guy over here. Ready? His condition is lowering, so we will say Time supply troops of food. Now, once we said supply troops of food, you see there, someone came out and they fed him. Just like that. His condition is now all the way back up to maximum. So if you've got a lot of troops lying around... You gotta, you gotta make sure you got a lot of food in order to be able to keep them all fed and watered and happy. So this guy here, he's gonna be working through these vineyards um, very rapidly. Switch on off house repair. Keep that on. Doesn't tell me how many farms, uh, farm areas he needs. I'm not sure of that. All right. They're all done. He's literally just waiting for them to grow now, and he'll start producing wine, which will then be taken straight to the inn. I need... No. Yeah, I think he does, actually. I think he does. I think that's how he works. 
Uh, I've got a farm over here that will be built. We've got a barracks over here. That one's going to be prioritized. And then we will also have a mine over here that we're going to want to build. I'll do that straight up through there. Like that. Go on. Right, we've got a barrack. So now we can start training up militia, and we can't train anything else. Militia, uh, they, well, actually we can't train them either. We've got no recruits. We've got no, we got, well, we've got no supplies. We've got no weapons. I don't think we do. No, we don't. Looking in there, we've got nothing. So you need to get horse breeders. You need to be able to make your different weapons and stuff. If you've got a load of knights coming after you, if you've got people on horses, you go after them with the lance or with pikes. Um, if you've got people with, you know, every troop has got a, something it's strong against and something it's weak against. So you can use pikes to take down horses. You can use horses to take down swordsmen. Um, you can use swordsmen to go after the archers because they can go into them pretty quick. Archers, you want to keep them away from everybody. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. But, you know, they, they very quickly um, perish. They're already producing coal. At a farmer right here, I need some plowed fields. Now, that doesn't cost resources. So I can do it like this. It's very quick. It's very easy. I also really like the plowed field. I, ju I just like the look of the plowed fields in this game. There. Right, we'll do one more lot along here. There. So there's our plowed fields. It'll tell us... A, you get an idea of um, how much they can use. You, you start to get an idea of it in the end. It's getting really noisy up there. Uh, gold. I can, I can now build a gold mine. I've got one of those there that one will fit into there it, the gold mines you're limited in the places that you can actually install them so i can put one there i can put a couple in i'm not going to i'm going to put one right there uh you this house is not occupied go to so that one right there i need a recruit to be able to do that one so i go there and i go recruits add to queue it makes the recruit and that recruit should come down and here we go to that watchtower. There. So he's now looking out across. And he will look uh, around there. And then this house. Uh, delete current message. Go to the roads. Bring that back through like that. There. Okay, I've given you a basic idea of this game, I think. Oh, there's the iron. There's, that's, that's what I wanted over there. Um... I'm going to get another woodcutter now, and I'm going to drop that one down there. Uh, the woodcutter does replant trees. So it's quite handy having him around. He's, he's, he's a very conscientious fellow. He, d he does replant the trees he cuts down. He works hard to make sure he can get through there. And we'll remove some of those, and then we'd be able to put in an iron mine, and we'd be able to start building everything else. So this is basically the game, okay? And then you've got a big combat side to it as well. We haven't looked at the combat side at all. But what I'll do is I'll run him down here and you can get an idea with this. Right? The combat side to this game, you have whole units of them who all run around. and Well, they run around. You've you got to make sure that you keep them all well fed, like I said. Uh, you've got to keep their condition up. If they take damage in battle, Not. you'll have to go and feed them again sooner. Move. He's a very Follow noisy shell fellow. Move. Move. There, look. See, there's a unit of soldiers right there. They're, they're ready and waiting. They're, they're guarding Follow that me. particular area. Um, the AI in this game Forward. is very clever. I mean, look at these guys over here. We, we've already got defenses up. Let's They've go. expanded a lot faster than I have. Because the speed that their game is running out. Now, if I send him into the enemy encampment, he's going to attack. And they all come straight for it. Job done. But this is their encampment. See, we've got a butcher right there. And you can see everything they're doing. Wait, what's that? 
House not occupied. House not occupied. There's two houses not occupied. Oh, that's these two. There. Right. So anyway, that is a very, very brief look at Knights and Merchants. It's one of my favourite games. Uh, when this came out in 1998, I picked this one up in 99. And it's got to be said, I spent a lot of time playing this game, okay? The uh, working through the campaign is absolutely wonderful fun. It really is. If you like these old types of games, I, I don't know why it's ticking along so fast. It does not normally go this fast. I think it might just be the setting for the single-player map rather than the multiplayer stuff. Uh, no, sorry, the, 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 rather than the campaign, because it, normally it's, it's slower than this. Um... But, yeah, it's it's one of those that you'll either really enjoy or you'll absolutely hate. And I suspect that younger viewers, this may not be the game for you. I haven't really done a very good job of selling this game or sort of showing it off. Because I haven't been, I haven't been able to find all of the controls in here. But I imagine with a bit of Google Foo, excuse me, you would soon be able to find everything that you needed. Right? I imagine that you would be able to find everything you needed very, very quickly in order to make this run a little bit more smoothly. Um, whether there is any additional features for it available on Steam through the workshop, I have no idea. I haven't looked. Um, but yeah, Knights and Merchants, I just wanted to show you this game because I love it so much. Uh, I hope you did enjoy it. If you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. If you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. I will just state that there is a person who has done a playthrough of this. He's done a how-to for every single level in the campaign mode. Because some of those campaign mode levels are really, really tricky to get right. You've got to be really good at tactics with all of your units in order to be able to get everything to work right. Um, because you know, it's so well balanced on it. And I did rely heavily on him when I tried to replay this game several years ago. Uh, I don't know if any others have done it, but Searching Knights and Merchants on YouTube, I, I couldn't tell you who it is, but Searching Knights and Merchants on YouTube, you will find the playthroughs for it. Um, and it, I found him to be incredibly helpful. It really made a difference to um, being able to get through some of the more difficult levels. Uh, but yeah, I, I can't really um, tell you who it is, unfortunately. So anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.